Just four days before the country's first multi-party presidential elections, the military-backed government has announced a new series of security measures to combat violence. On Saturday, a car bomb south of Algiers killed five people. Two campaign workers have been murdered, and on Friday, a French nun was killed and another wounded in the capital. Journalists have also been threatened by Islamic fundamentalists. They have called for a boycott of the poll. The candidate most opposed to the Islamic extremists is Saeed Sadi. But he insisted to reporters that he is not targeting them. Rather, it's the other way round. No, I'm not against them. They are against me. I know what you say in Occident, but I'm against them. They are against me. They are killing. I don't kill them. The main religious candidate is Mahfoud Nahna, and he has been out and about in western Algeria seeking the traditional Muslim vote. It remains to be seen how far the poll will be boycotted by the predominantly Muslim population. The new security measures leading up to Thursday's first round of voting are also disrupting daily life across the country. All open-air markets have been closed and all sporting events have been cancelled.